What is up you guys? This is Qbrick and welcome to another video here on my channel in which we will be checking out the results of my 3000 subscribers castle mock contest. I know that you are all waiting for the finale of my Siege of Bricks series but since I still haven't finished it yet I figured that is the least I could do. So first of all I'd like to thank all of you who participated in this contest. We had about two dozen of mocks submitted to the contest, so as for the first one here on my channel, that's a pretty good number, but unfortunately some were too big to fit the maximum size of the contest entry, so I had to cut them out. So in the end we have 20 mocks qualifying to the rules, so what we'll do today is have a top 10 best builds I like the most, with of course the first three be linked in the description as promised, and one winner. And as for the rest, I will put them in the beginning of the video as honorable mentions. So now without any further ado, let's check out these ones first, without any particular order, and then I'll talk more about the ones featured in the top 10. Ok guys, so these were the ones that didn't make it to the top 10, but thank you guys anyway for submitting them, because it's always good to see you putting effort to make some nice mocks. There is still much to learn in terms of techniques, composition and the overall presentation of your build, so keep on bricking and you'll definitely get better by the time I'm hosting my next contest sometime in the future. But now let's jump into the top 10 mocks I received and in number 10 we have the Ruins of Loch Ness by Fuse Coconut Bricks. A small battle scene with a pretty good looking brick built sea monster. The rock work and foliage are not bad, but what I like here besides the monster is the technique on the small building and the water that looks very good with the splashes and waves caused by the monster. In number 9 we have a medieval water mill by a brick dreamer. A great choice of putting the building at an angle, which isn't easy to do but you manage to surround it with rocks and water in a good way. The tree looks fine and the house as well. But too bad you didn't manage to make the roof a bit higher at a steeper angle. And a great touch with the little stream getting into the river using this small transparent power blast piece. Next on number 8 we have Sobek Bricks and his Twin Towers. Although it's a pretty simple build in terms of techniques, I really like the aesthetics and the clean look of it. Nice minifigure placement lots of details on the inside and outside of the castle and a very good solution showing the weaponry with the half of a roof being open. Very good job. In the seventh place we have a very nice building called Sleepy Hill Tavern by Ambi Bricks. The overall composition looks very good. The shape of the building along with placing it at an angle really gets the job done. I really like the roof technique giving a medieval feel to it and also the cobblestone on the chimney looks great while being so simple at the same time. And great that you managed to put interior in such a small space you had inside. Going next to number 6 we have Brickinger with a very good looking gate of Saint Jean d'Arc. I hope I'm saying that right. Good to see a different setting of a mock while still sticking to the medieval times. The walls and the crenellations look great and the technique on the gate is surely the most eye-catching element. Plus the figs bring a lot of life to the build. Too bad that it's only a digital build, but from the looks of it, it should be possible to make in real life, so it's all good. In 5th place we have a small but very effective build showing a medieval plow on a field by Holston Bricks. I especially love the build for the plow and I may use that design in some build in the future, but overall the scene looks very good as well. The plow dirt is using a simple technique with cheese slopes, but looks surprisingly good here. And the foliage all around and the fans are made very good and fills this vignette nicely. And here we come to a place where I had a tough time deciding in which order to place the final builds, so in number 4 we have a very nice castle of black falcons by Michał Iklotski. I really like the overall composition showing a gate of a castle with some nice looking walls and terrain in front of the castle which looks like something I would do myself. The gate looked nice and the details and proportions also look good, 
But I have a small issue here with the crenellations, because the blanks doesn't cover the whole minifigures, so they are losing their functionality. But overall, a very nice looking build, so great job Miho. And finally, we reached the top 3 builds, so the authors will be linked in the description below. And we're starting with Imperial Bricks at 3rd place with a Siege of a Black Falcon's Castle. First of all, the base plate looks awesome with all of the small pieces making the border look very detailed and the overall layering of the ground with the small stream going through it looks so good. The walls also look great, but the proportions of the castle itself are a little off. But I understand that in order to be more realistic, the build would have to be much larger than it is. I can also see some inspirations from Edge of Bricks here, mainly on the ladder, catapult and the feel of the build, but I can't say it's a bad thing since you guys know that we both have a similar style of building and love collaborating with each other. So great job Imperial Bricks and guys make sure you check out his channel for more detailed mocks like this. Now in second place we have Boti with the duel in the ruins. A very small vignette but yet so full of details. First thing that catches my eye here is of course the wall made with all of those Thor hammers. I've seen that technique a couple of times already but here it looks so well integrated with the foliage, the doorway and the small tower. Also great job on the floor detailing with the hole in the middle giving the mock even more atmosphere and cool factor. All it's missing here is a spartan kick like in the 300. And the part of the roof made with curved slopes held with a net is just insanely good. Very good job mate. And finally my favorite build from all of the submitted ones. On first place we have a bohemian themed dungeon by user. There are so many great details in this build, starting with some very detailed walls of the building with many small pieces and a great looking color scheme, which must be the main focus of this whole mock. But also the upper floor made with these rounded bricks look very accurate to the medieval style of building. The ground also looks great with a bunch of small details, the snot work freeform is looking smooth and the foliage looks very natural. And we have to give props for the custom built horse in the foreground, because that is something I haven't seen yet and it looks so good. Most builders just take the molded horse and be done with it, but here I can tell it took a lot of effort for the horse to look so natural given the small scale it's in. So congratulations to you user for this awesome build and I hope to see more like this in the future. Make sure you message me on Instagram or Facebook to give me your shipping address so that I can send you the prize and let me know what social media profile I should link below since I see that you're not an active YouTuber and I love to see more of your work. And that is it for the contest guys. I definitely had fun watching and reviewing your mocks and I will for sure make more contests like this in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed watching these mocks with me and I hope that inspired you somehow. But now I need to get back to building my own medieval scene because there is still so much to do before the finale, but I promise you that it will be worth the wait. So I will see you all in the next video here on my channel and in the meantime remember to keep it bricking.